I was in labouring for quite a few years of my life, but then due to injuries that had actually accumulated over time, I couldn't actually do that job anymore. So therefore I had to look towards more logistical um, means of em employment. Dom came to me um, with a shoulder injury as well as suffering from bipolar. Dom very, very persistent. As you can see, he's got a lot of energy. Um, applied for lots and lots of jobs. Wasn't successful, but didn't stop him trying. He just kept putting his foot in the door. Didn't quite get it open. We got him an interview with Keegan down here with Mr. Minute. He was successful. He's been here nearly 12 months. And as you can see, absolutely loves his job and is full of enthusiasm. Yeah. As for the job side of things, I'm loving it. It's hands-on, it's interactive, it's learning every single day I come into work, and I couldn't have found a better job, to be honest. <laughs> I've been on Centrelink previously. I lived on it for many years growing up, and I just realized it wasn't a way of income. I have just recently had a little boy at home, and he's the absolute light of my life, and I thought to myself, would he rather see me at home doing nothing and bludgeoning off everyone else or actually being out there making my like making the bread essentially so to speak and I just I can't sit still like I I have to be doing something and I'd rather be out there as I said working than not and actually earning what I've earned rather than not earning anything and not doing it right so huge positive changes. He's gone from being quite unsettled, having some home issues, some stability with his housing, stuff like that. That's all sorted out now that he's got a permanent job, happy in his home life, very happy in his work, and his mental health settled down a little bit as well. Honestly, like if you have a, a disability or an injury, then by all means do everything you can to actually ensure that you can get back into the workplace because regardless of what it is, you'll always find something that's out there that is right for you. Like you could have a bung leg or a busted shoulder or a bung hip. It doesn't mean that you, like just because you can't go out and do what you were doing originally, doesn't mean you can't go out and find something else you might enjoy. Like at first I had no idea what I was doing. I was way out of my depth and I felt completely uncomfortable. But then as I progressed through it all, I realized that I am learning, I am doing things hands on. It's not as physical as, as I was used to. It all depends on what makes you happy. And if that makes you happy, then stick to it. Because at the end of the day, there's nobody else out there that can make you happy but yourself. So ETC has helped me by firstly acquiring the job. Um, they've also helped me with means of uniform, i.e. shoes, pants, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, they've helped me with the training side of things. So whether it would be, um, well, training that is required on the job, they actually help you go through that, in, that um, system by actually finding the right means of training for that job. Um, they, they, they provide um, interviews, they provide the right code of conduct and how to actually present yourself at an interview, whether it be retail, um, engineering, building, construction, you name it, they know how to do it. Um, and they just point you in the right direction, they give you the right the questions to ask, the way to actually present yourself, the means to actually be confident in actually what you're doing and just all around make you feel a lot more relaxed when you actually go for the interview. <laughs>